So why are you qualified for this job? I'll tell you what I bring, I think, to the, uh, to, to the fund, if I was elected. I'm a lawyer by background, and I have that set of legal skills. I'm a leader by temper and attitude and professional experience. I'm also a person that can reach out and reach consensus. I'm a person that expects others to shine and bring their talent to resolving problems. On the top of which, having been 25 years in private practice and having led a very large institution, although in the private sector, Baker McKenzie, one of the largest law firms in the world, I've been the Minister of Finance for France for the last four years. And, you know, we've uh, travelled the tempest not too badly. The crisis did not hit France as hard as it hit other countries. Minister, in your announcement, why did you emphasize that you were bringing your expertise as a lawyer and a head of enterprise, but also as a woman? What was the point in that? I made the point about um, my gender. Because, number one, women represent about half the population of the world, if not a little more. And it's okay to actually be able to not represent, but come from that majority, which is often a minority. So I'm not suggesting that I should have any special favor, but I will certainly bring my skills as a woman as well as a mother too. Will you do anything to change gender equality at the IMF? Well, wherever I've been, uh, whether as chairman of Baker McKenzie or as minister of finance for the last four years, I've always tried to improve the gender ratio and the situation that uh, women have in their work life so that it can help them just express their talent. Four of the last ten directors of the IMF have been from France. Does it seem like a likely prospect that they would turn once again to France for its candidate? As I've declared candidacy now, I would hope that to be the case, but I hope that it's also done on the basis of merits, uh, comparing talent in respect of ch circumstances and certainly in an open and transparent uh, process, which is what We've advocated what my president has stated yet again uh, at the time when the managing director stepped down. Do you feel like the organization has an image problem after Dominic Strauss-Kahn? I, I really commit to stay for the entire duration of the term. And I know it's a frustration on the part of the staff of the IMF that work is undertaken, projects are begun, and, and the director has to go for whatever reason. So my commitment would be to actually stay throughout the term. There's something called the Tapis Affair here in France that's being investigated. You are being investigated. Do you take the investigation seriously? Um, some very political politicians try to make it such, but I have full confidence because I've always uh, acted uh, in the interests of the state and in total compliance with the law. So I'm extremely confident. It's a process that is, you know, engineered a little bit by the opposition. We are entering uh, an election year, uh, the campaign is on, and I stand very uh, solid and, and, uh, and very confident. So where do you go from here? Next will be um, a bit more interviews like the one we're having at the moment, uh, and I will certainly uh, travel to a few places to actually sit down and meet with those that uh, expect their countries to be properly represented, and that will take me outside Europe.